period from the 1st of March on through the end of May, meteorological, meteorological spring, the warmest day 89 degrees on the 11th, the coldest day 13 on March 12th. We're going to finish the spring with over 12 and a half inches of moisture. That's a little bit above average, and we only had an inch of snow during the spring. That's about two and a half inches below the norm. Now, because we've had some frequent rainfall out there, we've got a 29% topsoil surplus. That's going to help the farmers out. 81% of corn has been planted. 58% has already emerged and really in good shape in terms of our soybean crop as well. 70% of that already in the ground. Over the next four days, we'll see the temperatures trending downward. We'll see the high tomorrow at 83. Then we'll spend three days with temperatures in the 70s on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we're also going to drop the humidity. You'll notice it again for tomorrow, but by Friday and Saturday, drier air is going to settle in back behind the front. Tomorrow we'll see a slight chance of an isolated shower in the morning, then more thunderstorms developing late tomorrow afternoon across central Indiana. Then heading into Thursday, we'll see a better chance of more widespread rainfall. The clouds will increase overnight down to a low temperature of 68. And from those clouds, a slight chance of an isolated shower or storm tomorrow, the high at 83. Better chance of showers and storms as the cold front gets closer to us on Thursday. Then for Friday and Saturday, sunny skies with highs in the 70s back in the 80s by Sunday afternoon and more rain.